Hi, bud. I guess we're coming in here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we're looking for you. Yeah, I do the same thing every time. I get ready to walk out the door, and Linda says, I've got to put my stocking on. She's got these stretch stockings. She's got a right. Refreshing. And uh, I'll just forget to put them on before I walk out the door. Um, I see Bob. She's I think she's here. Okay. Right. Do you need to be here? You didn't put that on the side? No. I, I think that you guys just did that. I thought it might be convenient to have that there. It probably is. But. Okay. You guys want an agenda? Yes, please. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Two of them? No, no we, we can share. share. All of these look alike, too. I know. So I think I'm going to start doing it. You need to put different colors. Different colors. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah. I think Do I you will. have uh, an agenda? I have one, thanks. You're mine. I brought mine. Okay. Mills? Got it. Thank you. We'll share. No, we're good. Oh, the table and raise the chairs. Yeah. Um, one of the things This is chance to read the minutes. By the way, I did correct the, um, what was it, 10, 24 minutes, the one this week, the yeah. third last meeting that yeah. you went ahead, uh, uh, the rear payment. Right. That. So I had a dozen. Okay. Um, I'm going to send those to Kathy. Kathy wants copies of the minutes now. Yeah. Um. Your, uh, the minutes, the agenda that you sent to me, you hadn't changed the date on it. I know, I just realized <laughs> that. So I changed it on the copies okay. I made here. Yeah. yeah, okay. I screwed both dates up, actually. I always did have trouble with dates. Okay. <coughs> okay, any issues with the minutes? First item I have is uh, uh, well. Before I do that, are there any things we need to add? Anything that we need to add to the? <coughs> I think you know, we need to. Okay. First thing is um, discuss the financial documents provided by Yvonne and Kim at last meeting. The goal is to develop relevant, easy to understand reports for council on a regular basis. Um, and I think, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to. Are you ready to really get into dig into that deeper today? The, the forms? Yeah. Uh, no, actually, I. This not being a regular meeting, I thought we were just going to focus on appropriations. So I. 
We can if you want. No, uh, actually, that's what I was going to do. If you were all prepped to do it, then I was going to yeah. do that item. But what I would prefer to do is put that item off okay. because um, when I was going through these, I started developing a bunch of questions, and I thought, well, I, I'm not sure these are good questions for the group or just things that I need to ask you one-on-one, -on -one, sure. you okay. or Kim, just to, you know, just worry about where, where the numbers come from, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, I got some dumb questions okay. I need to get done. I'd rather get rid of the dumb questions and then really get into the thing later on. So uh, sure. if you don't mind, I'll no, just fine. do a one-on-one -on, -one on that and okay. get some questions answered to start with, and then we'll go <coughs> to the group meeting, group okay. discussion of that and kind of decide what to do about it. I mean, I made it through about two forms and I just started it. Just didn't understand where the, what was in the numbers. I, you know, probably been told that already, but I just didn't know. So I don't feel prepared to talk about that. Okay. Make a decision about that later anyway. Okay, 2012 appropriation. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, last time we did um, some of the special revenue funds. So this time, what I've given you copies of are um, include. Many of the general fund accounts and many, uh, well, almost everything else. There are still some things, obviously, we don't have completed. Are there yes. any ones today? No, we don't okay. have any. Then that's what we have. We're working from the last. Oh, well, oh, oh, that's no, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's Thanks. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> um, so we will start through those and I want to try to highlight some differences for you and you know just to comment on your the reports I, I think the reports will start making more sense is you I think you'll find that we're going to break it down a lot more this year into different categories that uh, at least to Kim and I think <laughs> make sense I think they'll make sense to you which then will translate into those reports that you get you'll, you'll be able to look at them and Think it'll make more sense to you. You won't okay. have to figure like, wow, what could this have been? Because it's going to pretty well state what it was. So that should help on your the reporting, I think, as, as the year passes. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just start with the very first item, which is the police law enforcement accounts. Um, the majority of the, um, the vast majority of the expenses associated with the police department are currently paid now out of the police levy fund. So. All we have in this particular fund would equate to, um, we have half of the salary for the... Um, One second. Sure. What's this right-hand column? Oh, yeah, let me explain. To give you a difference, the, the <coughs> right-hand column would be 2012. And I, I wrote it on last year's document so you can see the difference because there's differences I'm going to want to point out along the way. So, so this is these numbers in the left hand column are 2010 numbers? Two, uh, 11. 11. Oh, 2011. Last year, okay. mm -hmm. And then the right mm -hmm. hand is 2012. Oh, 2012 budget. Yes. Okay. Uh, as they're proposed right now, the, the numbers will change as we, we don't even have our total total yet. Um, but this is a first cut as we looked at our expenses and what we these, know we'll have to spend. Yeah, and there, so there's some real differences. Let me run through them and I'll explain them to you. Um, another thing you're going to see further in here, our last year this included the entire clerk salary. This year um, it's being split between two different accounts, one the police department and one the mayor's court. Um, so we can keep a better running track of what those expenses are associated with. So what you see here is half of that staff position in terms of salary and in terms of benefits. That's half of? Half, yeah. And the other half, just if you want to see it at the same time, let me find the page number for you. Well, why is that? Why is half of that? Why well, because the other half is in, on page 10, at the bottom there's a mayor's court. That position is actually the police clerk and the mayor's court clerk. So half of it's going to be charged to the police department, half of it's going to be charged to the mayor's court. <coughs> okay. So it's on page 10 at the very bottom, you'll see the other half of that salary and benefits. Okay, now we have a real difference. And that is the salary of the clerk. Yes. Um, contractual services is, is, there's a huge difference there but because that, again, is getting broken up into a couple different accounts. Um, one of the main ones would be, um, again, the mayor's court. 
took a large chunk of that that covers the cost of the prosecutor, the magistrate, and periodically we need a translator. So um, that accounted for 31000 of that amount. Um, I have to look at all the specifics. You know, we're talking about contractual services. Yeah, contractual, contractual, services. Contractual, yeah services. contractual services. Yeah, contractual services. So as we go through this, I'll be able to point out a couple other differences where things are now that previously were all lumped into this account. And, and you said the translator is not included in that? No. Not anymore, no. So that's the only difference? Now that's back. Uh, the translator, the prosecutor, and the magistrate are all now back in the mayor's court fund on page 10. Talk about um, why you're doing it this way. Oh, um, for clarity. Mm -hmm. And so that way, if anybody ever says, "What? So, what do you spend on mayor's court?" Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but you know, we can go right to it. Well, be before a lot of this was what well, the way we were doing it. It right. just wasn't spelled out. So well, correct. Like, yeah, okay. and, and you know, and I'm sure over time the the forms have changed, the system has changed. Mm -hmm. That's but, what's always confused me is because they're you know, got one individual and his cost may be distributed among two or three or more accounts. Mm -hmm. You know, I could never. Yeah, you know, that, that can that get out. confusing. So, and even yeah. though we have some splits, we're trying to make logical splits yeah. here okay. so we can. So the 31,000 is for prosecutor, magistrate, magistrate, and translator. The translator. Mm -hmm. Back uh, to page one on the supplies and materials, There's, we've lowered that a little bit, about $4,500 based on what was spent this year. Um, and then the capital outlay is not necessary this year, although let me uh, <coughs> ask him a question on that. Is that where we should put the, um, yeah, that I just didn't carry across. That's where we were gonna put the first payment of a police cruiser there. Um, and, so. and 12. Yes, across from the seven that excuse me, right here. Yeah. Right across from the seven thousand put at ninety five hundred. Mm-hmm. Is that in the total? That should be. Um we don't believe we can afford an entire cruiser to pay outright this year, and so Ford has proposed a three year repayment plan and that's what that translates into. Okay. Okay. Next page, um, payment to the County Health District. Before the end of the year, they are, they usually give, a, give you a letter so you know your exact amount. For example, last year was the 3,534. We've not received that information yet from them, so we're estimating it to be a 3,700. But hopefully as the weeks pass, we'll be able to we'll pay them in for. Um, well, that's to be part of the general health district. Just we're, that's we're like membership members of the, the general health, health district, right? And then for that, they do that's mandatory. You know, board of health kinds of inspections and have resources oh, for our, available to oh, so we have to be a member of the Hamilton County in order to come in and inspect the restaurants right. and so forth. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know about the <coughs> restaurants. I can't answer that question, but if, if we it's have to call on them. Um, I'm trying to think what I used to for. Sometimes we've had some home issues where we've had to call them in. Um, and it's typically the fire department mm -hmm. or maybe our building inspector that would have to call them in. But yeah, basically this is considered a, a fee to be part of the district. Just like we're part of the yeah. Hamilton County School Motor District. Okay. Okay, on the page, community environment page, um, you're going to see a big difference here. In the past, this particular account held uh, a lot. It, it's Into this was lumped the, um, I believe, service and building, may have even been some administration. But this year, it it's, will strictly reflect the community planning and zoning. Um, I have 22000 in there to cover a con the contract with National Inspection Corporation for both code enforcement, um, estimating building permits to be where we had them last year at 5,600 or thereabouts, um, yeah, 5,600, because we might not have any more permit activity than we had last year. 
Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> Might be into the next year before we have that, but we can we can adjust that if we find that we're having a lot more building activity and have to pay out a lot more in fees. That number again is, is reflective, will reflect whatever we actually take in. Um, we would pay out 90% of it. So this is a very conservative. Yes. Yeah. For I, 22,000. Yeah, we know the 14.4 per year for the uh, code. The building permit, you just kind of, it's kind of a hit or miss, debate, depending on mm -hmm. how much permit you activity you have to need. And uh, then I have some additional money in there for postage that would be associated <coughs> with um, zoning violations or the rental inspection program, things like that. I'm getting confused. Uh, this 22,000 is for NIC, right? Yes. Is Runke in this anymore? No. Where is Runke Runke's now? Runke's back in its own category now. Um, page 7, under Refuse Collection and Disposal. You'll see a um, contractual services line item. Mm -hmm. The Runke contract at 195. Okay. And supplies and material, I put in there 3,000 for um, Usually that's related to recycling or being bins during the year for different functions, things like that. Okay. Pay for it. So it's its own. Um, see, and that's one of them that to me just kind of makes sense to be able to track that. Right, so, okay. Yeah, and supplies and materials. That's um, must, that's, that must, must have changed. Yeah, so, and that's um, in this account that's mostly postage and then. Whatever else we would need to that. Um, office expenses? Yeah. Yes. Miscellaneous office expenses, is that fair? Mm-hmm. And definitely the postage, because we need to put enforcement. We usually do have a. And the 96 gram was what? Um, well, again, that's, wow, that's going to be a big one, because that, that held a lot, a lot of different things. Hold on, let me find my another big sheet that I put up more. <coughs> hey, how are you? Nothing. I'm signing warrants. I don't care. Can we move there? Yeah, kind of for everybody. Okay. Well, mostly service, yes. Um, wow. Uh, maybe not specifically in the 96, but between the 96 and the 182, that used to include utilities for the village be, uh, buildings. Oh, wait a minute. So the 182 was not Runke. Runke no, was just the two. Because those are bracketed right. together. Yeah. So Rokey's above, but the contractual services would have included um, utilities, street light costs, engineering fees, repairs and maintenance, uh, fuel, signage. What was the last thing you said? Signage, if we have to buy um, street signs, things like that. You said repairs, signage, <coughs> maintenance. Building maintenance. Right. Mm -hmm. maintenance. Yeah, a lot of stuff walked into that. Well, we did. Screen, and screen and just so you know, now um, there's a section called um, Land and Buildings. And that is on page 11. In the middle, that was not complete at this point in time. We're, that's, because it's such a cat big category, includes so many things, we're going to check and check to make sure that we can need anything else. So right now, what you see back on page 11, uh, simply reflects the salaries for service and benefits. And I think on everybody's copy, I have in a 41,000, which under capital, which currently includes three lease payments that we make. But that is where you will be seeing utilities, um, a lot of those things that I just mentioned that touch all of our properties. So it's fair to say, apartments, not apartments. It's fair to say that 
230 and 240 are now in 210 to 250, right? They're going to be in there. Let's see. Are now, oh, no, that's not right. Yeah, probably safer to say that they are now well, in. Um, oh, they are now oh, in, in okay, refuse okay, okay. collection and disposal, and land and buildings. Okay. Probably be, be safer to use as, as bigger headings. Land and buildings and refuse collection. Services, supplies, and fuels, and capital outlay are all moved over to those two. Okay. Correct. Got it. Okay, on the next page, we have contract post office. This one stay a little the same. We are saving a bit by <coughs> uh, reducing um, our time by one hour. And so our new total for that for this year is 35820 What's the um, hours change? Um, we eliminated one hour in the morning. I think we opened now at 10. So it's one hour a day. Mm -hmm. okay. So not a lot of changes there. We moved it a little bit around just to reflect what, what the charges are. Um, contractual services is rent and utilities, supplies would be mostly the um, the meter that they use and uh, supplies for you know, printing tape, cash register tapes, things like that, ink, those kinds of supplies. Okay, okay page seven, uh, again, is the refuse collection where I have gone ahead and put the uh, Rumpke contract, and then again, supplies and materials, I'm thinking mostly of recycling. Um, by the way, we did just learn that we got a $5,000 recycling grant. I had um, applied for to purchase new recycling containers for on the commons and at the pool, golf course, Palmer, I think eight total. Right, grant. So you got a grant to totally fund that? Mm-hmm, $5,000. The, the, but the three thousand is what? Th this would be for our use on. Um, sometimes we buy like the cardboard uh, recycling boxes for certain events or porta labs. You know anything kind of rumpy related is is in that mm -hmm. category. Administrative offices. Okay, in the past that was just the mayor. Um, administrative again was up in community planning, but I've combined it with the mayor's now. Um, salary. So, <coughs> seeing administration in there as well as the mayor.